If you guys need cheap, instant and reliable coins, go to buyultimateteam.com and use the code CAPGUN for a cheeky 5% off at checkout. You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here and welcome to episode number 22 of Building Bayern. Now we're going to kick this one off by choosing an offline division to play in. Now I was like, I'm going to choose the one with the most coins that has a low star rating. Don't want to play in the Ultimate League because that's going to be difficult. So I chose the lowest star rating and some of you will already have spotted my mistake. I honestly am so stupid. I'm starting to think that I would believe that 9 plus 10 is 21. That's how dumb I am because I have gone and picked pretty much the only division there that has a cap on the level of player you can have. I can't use goal players in the starting 11 or in the subs, which for a fitness team, for a team that is majority gold, is a bit of an issue. As you can see, the message comes up there. I have to go out, I have to, because there's no way of exit, exiting the division now that I'm in it, I have to go out, buy a full silver team. You know, I've obviously got a couple of Bayern Munich players in there already. Um, they're all discard players, but you know, I picked them up as cheap as I could, built the team, and the worst thing about it is, is that now I'm going to have to play two games every time I want to rest my main team because obviously I can only get them rested on the reserves and I only get five reserve spots which is a nightmare absolute nightmare so we're gonna have to play twice as many um, offline matches but there you go that's my mistake and I'll make sure that it doesn't happen again anyway you can see I've played one I won it have to come back we have to uh, put all the players switch them over and now we can go out and play the second one which again we won 2-0 and uh, yeah, we've got six points on the board. We need to get to 20 before this nightmare will finish. Anyway, we can now get on with the episode and we are going to dive in to a game against a 4-3-3 BPL side. Looks pretty dangerous. It does have Drogba up front who I haven't played before and he's always been handy in the air in previous FIFA. So that's what I'm going to be looking out for. Now guys, if you want another episode of Building by in tomorrow, smash the like button. Let's get this video to 3,000 likes and that video will be all yours. It's up to you. Anyway, we start off this uh, game really brightly. You can see here, Alonso somehow is the man that's running through. He gets the wrong goal. He's not all that fast. So I was like, do I have time? Fortunately, his defender didn't get back, and I just slid it into the bottom left-hand corner. Unfortunately, in the 69th minute, Drogba trolls me. He out-jumps Bernaccia and uh, ends up heading it in. I said at the start that he's dangerous in the air. Not only that, I wasn't listening to my own advice because... For a second time, he manages to get a header at the back post, and this time it comes out off the goalkeeper, but he is the first one to it, and he puts it into the back of the net. Not only that, he hits the bar. I think it was Drogba that hit the bar there. And then from the rebound, it's Jay Rodriguez that puts it into the back of the net. Oh, frustrating as hell. We needed to win that game if we had a chance of getting promoted. Unfortunately, we're only going to be staying where we are. We're going to be staying in Division 5. We get, you know, a tidy little bonus, like 3,900 coins, which isn't too bad, and it's going to help us make the next signing. But at the same time, really, really frustrating. Now, I've done some trading, so you can see here that I've picked up players with uh, chemistry styles on the mainly. I picked up a, a Lamella there for 3,500 listed for 4,300. We've also got a Cavani here um, that we picked up for like 7,500 listing for 8,200. A right forward Hulk that we picked up for like 12k listing up for 14. So some good profit to be made there if we can manage to sell it all on for the prices we have set. Now, you can see here we are going to go into another game before we have to play the dreaded two fitness matches. And uh, we come up against a League One side, Lacazette Cavani up top, uh, Lucas uh, Lavezzi on the wings. It's got Matuidi in there, David Luiz, you know, some decent, decent players. Ruffier's not bad in goal either. And early on, goes through with Cavani, and Cavani's right foot is an absolute monster. He can score so many goals with that thing. We did manage to score a goal to equalise with Road there, one all. It was Gertz that fed it in to him before he managed to get that shot off but immediately Cavani just ran through on goal from the kickoff and I hate it when people get the kickoff against me because it always results in a goal pretty much for me and I don't know how to stop it maybe if you guys do let me know down in the comment section Dante managed to score one to put us back level again from a corner this time we managed to take lead as we won a foot race with Shakiri against David Luiz so we're 3-2 at this point but you can see he does it again from the kickoff literally just powers his way through my entire defense my defense is just like there are sleep or something I don't know what to do from this uh, kickoff stuff it's really really frustrating anyway after that he just tore me apart I was not in the best of moods after well conceding two of those kickoff goals and you can see here that my team is just on full derp mode so we end up actually losing 6-3 which was a bit of an unfair scoreline but you know a loss is a loss either way it doesn't really matter how many you lose by it's just the fact that you have lost 
I mean, it could, I could have drawn 4-4 or 0-0 and it still would have given me the same amount of points. So, um, anyway, there you go. No points for our first game back in Division 5. And uh, now we have to go and play the fitness games again. Yeah, everyone loves the fitness games. And you can see there we have to switch some players around and get the game underway. What's the result going to be? 4-0 this time. Not bad. More coins in the bank. That's good news. And uh, we are now starting to get towards actually uh, safety in this division and uh, promotion because we win the next one as well. And you can see now we only need eight points to actually win us the title, which is exactly what we want to do and uh, what we'll be hoping to do. Anyway, everything is sold. We've managed to get rid of Remy, Cavani, uh, Sirigu, Lamella. All of them have now sold and it is time for us to go and make a signing. And that signing is going to be Boateng. I waited until Wednesday evening when everyone was opening packs for the new team of the week. Um, I was the way, you know, getting some... Uh, Getting some bargains, and I pick up this Boateng for 27,500. I think the lowest bin was 27,750 coins, but that was actually three like three bids lower than the lowest bin after that. So I think that they were pretty much going for like 28 and a half, 29,000 on that Wednesday. So I did manage to pick up a half decent bargain there, maybe saving myself two and a half k, which really does count. Now I had to change up the formation. This is what I was planning to do all along and you can see what I've done I've put Banat at uh, left back or left mid um, just to balance out the team we've got Muller at right mid we have Shakiri up front who we're going to change to a right forward and Boateng goes into the right centre back position with uh, I think it's Bonaccia at the left centre back position and then Dante in the middle now um, he gets the check mark on the checklist which is fantastic we're moving forward with the series I was hoping to sign, sign Lam, but because he got an inform he wasn't getting packed and obviously his price was going up so I was like you know what I'm not going to buy Lam. I'll wait a couple of weeks or maybe wait a week or however long it turns out to be before we can afford to buy him um, I put some bids down on right wing to right forward cards and stuff like that and uh, managed to win some of those gave Shakiri it so that he is now on uh, six chemistry then I went out bought a Bundesliga manager card for 500 coins which I think is a really good price I bought two of them in fact trying to sell one on um, and I put it on a bronze manager because I think the cheapest Bundesliga manager was about like 1,500 coins. So I was like, if I just get the manager league thing and put it on any old manager, then I'm going to get that extra chemistry on both Shakiri and Banat. So they're both on seven, and I did it the cheapest way possible. Now, our final opponent is going to be someone who thinks that he's a skiller. He's got to wrapped in there. He's got uh, Depay. He's got Ben Arthur. And uh, it doesn't matter because we've got a really strong team now. We're starting to come together. You know, our team is being built, and uh, this is the first game that Boateng is actually playing, and he is the best centre back that plays for Bayern Munich in my opinion so um, yeah he should really really stop the number of goals that we're conceding or cut them down a lot and you can see we were scoring a lot of goals um, we actually got a debut goal for Boateng but it wasn't my Boateng that got it it was his Boateng after the ball comes back out of the keeper but it doesn't matter we just powered through and uh, managed to score another two goals to actually win this game 5-1 you can see here I steal it with Goetze just inside his uh, box or just on the outside of his box and we uh, throw over the top to Shakiri who puts into the back of the net does a little dance and we win 5-1 great stuff so there you go guys that is the end of the episode i hope you have enjoyed it make sure you drop a like on the video if you have let's get it to 3,000 likes and upload another episode of building by and tomorrow subscribe if you're new to my channel but other than that i'm going to have to leave it there and i will see you all next time